guys, welcome to the start of a brand new playlist of past paper exam questions all about angles. Now in this video we're starting out very basic using our basic angle facts. The videos will gradually build in difficulty. All of them are suitable for both tiers. So remember you can get the questions from the description down below the video. Let's go. Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're trying to get the best grade in maths you possibly can, let me help. Start now by subscribing. Okay then, first up, Work out the value of x. So, angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. So, 2x. Add 3x. And our right angle, which is 90 degrees, has to be 360 degrees. So, 5x add 90 is 360 subtract 90 5x is 270 and then finally divide by 5 we get x is 54 degrees okay then very similarly again we're working on the size of angle x in this bad boy so, we know if we add all of these angles together, they have to add to 360. So, x, add 90, add 36, add 160, add 21, has to be 360. So, we've got x add, so 90 add 36 is 126. If we add that on to 160, we get 286. And then add 21, we get 307. So, x add 307 is 360, subtract 307, x is 53 degrees. Okay, next up, Mary needs to work out the size of angle x in this diagram. So here we have an isosceles triangle, the bottom length and the top right length are the same size. So Mary writes x is 63 degrees because base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Mary is wrong. Explain why. So the reason why is it's not always um, base angles that are equal. It's two angles at the ends of the two equal sides. So it would actually be this guy which is 63 degrees. Now to find x we know that angles in a triangle add together to 180 so we would get x add two lots of 63 which is 126 has to equal 180 Take away the 126, x is 54 degrees. Okay, then for part B, William needs to work out the size of angle Y in this diagram. So this time we have angles between parallel lines. So he writes angle EGH is 57 degrees and his reason 
is because corresponding angles are equal. And then he works out why by doing 180 minus 57 because angles on a straight line add to 180. One of his reasons is wrong. I write down the correct reason. So, angle EGH is this guy. Now that is actually not corresponding to the 57 degree angle. It's alternate. So, it's still 57 degrees, but EGH is alternate. Not corresponding. Okay, now just as a quick reminder for that one, here the blue angles are examples of corresponding angles, the red angles are alternate angles. Okay, next up, here we're told AB and BC are perpendicular lines. That means they meet at 90 degrees. Find the value of x. Okay, so we know that x add 25 add 25 has to be 90. So x add 50 is 90. So x is 40 degrees. Next up, RS and TU are parallel lines, PQ is a straight line. One of the angles on the diagram is 125 degrees. If we want to write down the letter of one other angle, which is also 125 degrees, giving a reason for our answer. So there are two possibilities, either angle B, and the reason for that is vertically opposite, or angle D, which is corresponding. Okay, now the final question for this set ABCD is a quadrilateral. So a four-sided shape sides have been extended as shown. Show that X is 100 degrees. Okay, so for this we need to know angles inside a quadrilateral add up to 360. So what have we got? We've got 120, we've got a right angle, which is 90 degrees, and we also know this angle is going to be 70 degrees because those two angles are vertically opposite. So if we add up those three we can find the fourth angle inside of the quadrilateral. So 70 and 90 is 160 add 120 gives us 280. Now to find the fourth angle, we do 360 minus 280, which gives us 80. So, this angle is 80 degrees. Now, 80 and x lie on a straight line. So, x add 80 has to be 180, subtract 80, and we get x is indeed 100 degrees. Hey okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope it served as a nice warm-up for the trickier questions to come in the playlist. If you have found it useful, please do give us a thumbs up, get subscribed to the channel, Drop us a request uh, down in the comments if you want any topics done like this. And remember to check out the Angles playlist down below for much trickier questions.